Midway is a war film based on the attack on Pearl Harbor and the following battle of Midway during World War II. In any historical war film, extensive VFX is needed. But the Midway battle not only took place at sea, but also in the air, meaning VFX would be a massive part of the film. One of Pixomondo's biggest jobs was creating 3D assets, lots of them. Aircraft carriers, escorts, cruises and destroyers, detailed reproductions of two Japanese aircraft carriers, Kaga and Akagi, and the Japanese airbase at Taroa Island, which required over 160 unique props, from military buildings to watchtowers to sandbags. The crowning piece had to be the tremendously detailed reproduction of the USS Enterprise, which was made up of 136,360 separate pieces and 45.2 million polygons. Simulations of the bow wake used over 1 billion particles. When depicting a naval battle, a lot of the shots have the ocean in them, so creating a realistic ocean is crucial. Pixomondo's oceans were built using a combination of shader-based approaches for distant seas and full simulations for close-ups. White water and wake simulations were built in Houdini, adding extra green aerated water to the disturbed areas to add realism. Artists could then place those pre-computed sims in the scene. A surprising challenge was the shots that looked straight down at the ocean, because it turns out that in real life, an ocean viewed from above looks fake and boring. So creating a look that was real and interesting was surprisingly difficult. Scanline worked mostly on four different sequences. The Pearl Harbor attack, the Doolittle raid, the carrier hunt, where torpedo bombers attempt to attack the Japanese aircraft carriers, and the last mission. To be able to complete so many scenes, Scanline used various tools to help streamline their workflow. For the Pearl Harbor environment, Scanline established early on what would be visible in the scene, and this enabled them to define what would have to be a 3D build and what could be projected matte painting. For the actual attack, the same stream streamlining process was used, but in addition, Scanline used their new multi-shot setup, which allows for batch simulations and renders of templates. And with this, all shots with similar effects could be run in an automatic way. Scanline also identified early on what main effects elements would be needed, so they could create template setups for plane fires, explosions, and tracer fire that could be propagated into shots automatically and then simulated on their own. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the links to the music in this video are in the video description and be sure to let us know in the comment section which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.